apparently one coconut head decided to step on the wet concrete. <laughs> Hi guys, so today I'm going to show you in a day what it's like to be a civil engineering intern on a site in Nigeria. I really didn't plan this video, so I didn't really show you when I got ready, but I don't think that was necessary. Anyways, I got to the site late, so I met them casting. I was called at 2, <laughs> but when I got there, they were having a particular problem with the granite which messed with the purpose of the thin slab they were trying to cast I was also appalling to the eyes as you can see I haven't got the big one I think it's small one so it was quite difficult to work with but it made do as you can see this is a very big granite <laughs> this is the store used to throw where you can break someone's head so it wasn't meant for this purpose particularly so and the big layer was really pissed also but you had to just manage it till we got the smaller ones but the client learns the lesson next time to listen to the engineer okay let me see if i can explain in very short term what's happening here basically they've excavated this land so they're trying to do its foundation that's raft foundation but the engineer here didn't want to put the reinforcement as to iron bars you see directly on the ground because of so many reasons also, um, one of them being water from the ground can come up and touch the refreshment which will make it rust and uh, can cause some chemical reactions, oxidation, whatever I mess with that. So he decided to cast a thin slab, then do the framework for the um, foundation before putting the, the making the iron binders to do refreshment in between the framework for casting the foundation just by using rat foundation in this case then backfill with all this you know this model this hardcore you see also going to still backfill i can make a longer video for you if you like but that's as best as i can explain right now as you can see that's the big player he's actually been grumbling all day because of the stones and making things difficult for him Basically, my work here was just to supervise and see what's going on with some other interns that were here too. And then a few things, gaining experience because I have actually never been on a site, the starting site. I was on a site for four days, but I met them halfway through. So I've never seen them laying the foundation from far from afar. They have been there. So this was a really nice experience for me, even though the sun scorched. Me. The sun here was no joke. It literally burnt my I have burned. I had to get sunscreen. I can do a review on the sunscreen I even got is very sun. Well, yeah, so here this is where they were mixing uh, the concrete. They didn't get a mixer because there was really no need to spend that much on something that can be done manually in a day. So they just did it manually and we actually finished in one day. So it really saved a lot of money instead of getting a mixer. Okay, so this line is on the floor. They went through out the sides. That's two inches from the ground to the line that is the depth of this little slab they are casting right now. So the slab is like two inches deep, basically. Over there, the guys that I work with, they're also students that can't go back to school because of 
hassle so we are all here to learn a few things and as we are all in studying civil engineering there's a quantity surveyor structural engineering student and then three civil engineering students also look at my arms they're so dark and i have sunscreen on and sunblock if you're doing this it got me looking ashy but it's better than getting like, just damages from uv rays or, or, or whatever they call them so i got sunscreen to protect myself from the harsh rays from the sun So guys, later during that day, we got um, little granite that is three quarter also delivered. So it made a lot of people were happy. I don't think anyone was as happy as a bricklayer, but a lot of people were happy. So this was easier to work with. You can see the difference between this tiny granite and this big block, this big block of <laughs> stones, as far as I'm concerned. So this one was easier to work with. They mixed well with the concrete and um, it's also very compatible, less void in the concrete and it was looking more smooth. As you can see, the difference between what I showed you earlier in the video, you can see this is more reasonable, it looks more presentable, it looks a little bit smoother than the one I showed you before. See, the difference is even clear there. So, a lot of problems like this happen on site. So, we learn lessons every day. Let's look at the difference. And that's me, that's my shadow. Ah. Oh. Apparently, one coconut head decided to step on the wet concrete. <laughs> Nigerians. Can see, this is more smoother 